So the other day, I wanted to share a video that I took with my family, but considering my phone's too small, I decided to, you know, put it on the TV so that everyone could watch it at the same time. But to my dismay, the Wi-Fi wasn't working. But after, a, you know, a few hits and misses, I finally did get it working and I was able to share the video on the TV without a Wi-Fi. So if you didn't know, I'm Vamsi, nice to meet you. Welcome to Smart Dance Proxy. And in this video, I'll show you how you can connect your phone to your TV without a Wi-Fi. You can create a hotspot, you can use a special cable called MHL, or if you have a Samsung phone, you can just use a little known feature called DAX. Of course, each method has its own pros and cons, but we'll take a deeper look into each one of those. So without any further ado, let's begin. So, if the Wi-Fi is not available, your router's down or the power's out, the first thing you try and need to do is use a hotspot from your phone. Alright, to get started, you'll need at least two Android smartphones, one Android smartphone and another one maybe iOS. Also, you'll need an Android TV that can connect to Wi-Fi. If you don't have a smart TV, you can use streaming devices such as Chromecast or Fire TV Stick. Alright, now that you have all of these devices, I'll show you how. First, you'll need to create a Wi-Fi network using the mobile hotspot feature. There you can just turn on the Wi-Fi and make it a hotspot. Also, make a note of the hotspot password, you'll need it later. If you want to do this on iOS, just go to Settings, Cellular, Personal Hotspot or Settings, and then Personal Hotspot to tap the slider next to allow others to join. Now, once you've turned on the hotspot, you can use it to connect to a regular Wi-Fi network and then connect your TV and that phone to hotspot. If your TV is an Android TV, you can use devices like Chromecast to connect to your Wi-Fi and then you can cast content from there. Simply swipe down from the top to bring up the notification tray and then tap on the Chromecast icon so you can select the TV that's connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot. And that's it, it should work. Although, if you have an iPhone, you can't really cast your iPhone screen, but for that, you have to use AirScreen app to simulate AirPlay server. We've done a separate video on that, which I'll leave in the YouTube cards or in the description below. Although, do keep in mind, since you're using mobile hotspot as a Wi-Fi network, you might face a bit of delay while mirroring your Android screen to your TV or while playing videos. Alright, the previous method requires you to have an Android TV or at least a smart TV or even a Chromecast device that can connect to your phone. But if you have a regular STV that's pretty old from the 2013s or 2010s, you can still do it by using an MHL cable. MHL stands for Mobile High Definition Link in simple words. So this cable is used to connect Android or iPhone to your TV. These are quite cheap and easily available on Amazon for less than $10. However, before you buy an MHL cable, make sure your Android smartphone supports MHL first. You can just do that by a quick Google search or check out these websites or download one of these MHL checked Android apps. So, to mirror your Android to your TV via MHL cable, just simply connect the HDMI end of the MHL cable to your TV and Type-C to the end of your Android smartphone. To supply power to your MHL cable, you can just plug the USB into a good wall charger in case the USB on the TV is too weak. And that's it, the moment you connect all the cables, you should see your Android screen right on your TV. And you can just disconnect it by just unplugging the cable. That said, MHL cable doesn't support DRM protected content, so you can't really stream from Netflix, Prime Video, or even HBO Max or Apple TV and stuff. Alright, the third way you can mirror your smartphone onto your TV without using Wi-Fi is a feature that most Android phones use called Miracast. Unlike Chromecast that we saw in the first option, Miracast uses Wi-Fi Direct to let two devices connect to each other wirelessly. So you wouldn't even need to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you want to get started on this, you need an Android smartphone with Chromecast built in and a smart TV that supports Miracast. So here I am using LG as a reference device. The process is quite simple in all TVs. Now on your Android phone, click on the cast option. This will start searching for the nearby option to cast that includes your TV. And then select the TV that you want to cast on from your phone. You can just click on the same cast option in quick settings. Most modern TVs from companies like LG, Samsung, Sony, etc. come with inbuilt mirroring option that works on Miracast. You can also find it on most Android and Fire TV sticks too. As not all TVs work with Miracast, before proceeding, you can just check online whether your TV supports Miracast or not. 
Anyhow, if your TV isn't a smart TV, it won't be supporting Miracast 8. And finally, the last option for you to use your smartphone to connect to your TV without Wi-Fi is using Samsung DeX. So DeX is a feature on the flagship Samsung phones where you can connect your phone to any monitor or TV and then turn it into a desktop setup. This has obvious advantages comparing casting content or screen mirroring as you can take advantage of the complete display. Also, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to your phone and then make it a complete desktop altogether. You can just use the MHL cable aka HDMI to USB-C cable to connect to the TV and the phone and as you can see the TV will automatically detect like Samsung DeX and the whole setup will turn into a computer now. You'll get another notification saying to use your phone as a touchpad. Click on it to start using your phone as a touchpad like it says without any keyboard or mouse options. So yeah, those are the methods that you can use your phone to connect to your TV without a Wi-Fi. And if you've got a smartphone like a Samsung one that connects with DeX, that one's the best method because you can connect with it wirelessly and with wired and stream content like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, what have you. All right, for others, MHL cable is probably the best option for you guys because it can connect with both Android and iOS phone. Finally, if none of those options work for you guys, just use Miracast or fall back to hotspotting it that way it's just the easiest method and it works for most people using an Android or smartphone. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified every time we put out a new video and you can just watch it right there. And check out smartlinesproxy.com for, you know, if you're keen to unblock zero-restricted content on Netflix US or watch HBO Max outside of the US. It's about five bucks a month, it's just bugger all and it can last for as long as you can. I'm Ramsey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.